Thursday, the 18th of April, 2024, of the third week of Easter. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Man considers the actions, but God weighs the intentions. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, you are the living bread which sustains me in this life. May I always hunger for the bread which comes from heaven and find in it the nourishment and strength I need to love and serve you wholeheartedly. May I always live in the joy, peace, and unity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and in the age to come. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Everyone who listens to my Father comes to me. The Father guarantees our ability to listen to Him through the Church's preaching and teaching and by giving us every day the bread of life. The Ethiopian asked, How can I understand unless someone instructs me? The Holy Spirit moves Philip to proclaim Jesus to him and baptize him. We cry out to God with joy for the grace of our baptism and that Jesus has been proclaimed to us. The Epistle Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 26. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you were reading? He replied, How can I understand unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a shepherd, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and, beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, 
And the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Asotos and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 66 Responsorial Verse Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel I am the living bread that came down from heaven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 6 verse 44. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from Him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation So he got up and set out. Acts chapter 8 verse 27 How do you think Philip started his morning on the day we read about here? Do you think he got up and thought to himself, I'm going to walk down the road to Gaza, meet an Ethiopian official, explain the gospel to him, and baptize him. Do you think he then said, After that, I'd like to be miraculously transported to a completely different location? Of course not. We don't know exactly what was on Philip's mind that morning, but we can be sure that... As a prayerful man, he was eager to listen to and obey what the Lord might be saying to him. So as soon as he heard the angel telling him to head out, he got up and went. Acts chapter 8 verse 27 
Because Philip obeyed that first prompting, he was in the right place at the right time for the next one. To strike up a conversation with the Ethiopian man in the chariot. And then he was able to speak to this man and proclaim Jesus to him. What about you? Do you listen for the Lord's voice when you pray? Do you ever hear the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit when you're at work, at school, or running errands? God is still speaking to His people and you can trust that He wants to lead you. So experiment. You might have an insight or inspiration during prayer or at Mass or in the course of the day. Don't dismiss it as being just your imagination. Stop and try to act on it. It might be the Holy Spirit leading you. The best way to learn to hear the Spirit's voice is to try responding when you do feel a nudge. That's likely what the first believers did. Maybe the Spirit is telling you to open your Bible. Maybe He is telling you to contact someone who could use your help or inspiring you to a different work of mercy. It all starts with taking that first step. That's what the entire book of Acts is about. Because the first believers obeyed the voice of the Spirit, Word spread about the transforming power of Jesus' death and resurrection throughout the known world. It just goes to show, you never know what can happen if, like Philip, you listen and obey. Lord, I want to listen for and obey your voice today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people, like yourself, that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.